What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to remove the background of a video using Adobe Premiere Pro. This technique is particularly useful if you want to replace a solid color background with a different image or video. First, open Adobe Premiere Pro and import your video clip. Once imported, drag the video clip to the timeline to start editing. With your video clip selected in the timeline, head over to the Effects panel. If you can't find the Effects panel, go to Window, Effects to enable it. In the search bar within the Effects panel, type Color Key. This will filter the effects to show only the Color Key effect. Drag and drop the Color Key effect onto the video clip in the timeline. This will apply the effect to your selected clip. Now, go to the Effect Controls panel, which is usually located in the top left of the interface. If you don't see it, go to Window, Effect Controls to open it. In the Effect Controls panel, you will see the Color Key effect you just added. Next to the Color Key option, click on the Color Picker tool, which is the eyedropper icon. Use this tool to select the most prominent color in the background of your video clip. This works best if the background is a solid color or consists of similar shades. After selecting the key color, click on the wrench icon in the Effect Controls panel and select Transparency Grid. This will help you see the areas of the background that are being removed. Now, adjust the Color Tolerance slider to increase or decrease the range of colors that are keyed out. The higher the tolerance, the more shades of the selected color will be removed. Be careful not to set the tolerance too high, as it might start removing parts of your subject if they are similar in color to the background. Next, adjust the Edge Thin slider to refine the edges of your subject. This setting helps to remove any remaining fringe of the background color around your subject. Increase the value to thin out the edges and remove unwanted artifacts. Use the Edge Feather slider to smooth the edges of your subject. This will create a softer transition between your subject and the new background, making the keying effect look more natural. Adjust the feather value to find the best balance for your video. Once you are satisfied with the keying effect, you can import a new background video or image to replace the removed background. Drag the new background to the timeline and place it on a layer below your keyed video clip. Ensure the new background layer is the same length as the video clip to avoid any gaps in the final output. You can also adjust the position and scale of the new background in the Effect Controls panel to fit your scene perfectly. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.